All right, I'm going to attempt to change the look of the um, text box in configurator. That was a question that was posed on the list, um, and I have never tried to do it. So I'm going to try and work through it and see if we can figure it out. Um, by the looks of it, it looks like it's just an every text box. Um, but uh, like it was stated on the question, the appearance um, property of the text box is not being uh, available. So I've got to figure out exactly what this is. So I'm going to do it on field change. I'm going to go look and see if I can. Um, oh, I'm in customization mode. Let me get out of customization mode because I don't need to be in that <clears throat> aspect. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out exactly what type of control this is. Um, so I'm just going to display a message box with the type of control. Um, I think this one was called MTP Desk. So I'm going to find it in here. And instead of getting the value, I'm going to call get type and do a string on it. Now, get type is a property um, uses reflection to figure out what type of control or object that is. Um, and of course, the toString method is going to show it to me in a message box. And I apologize for the speed of this environment. It's a training environment that's not too fast in any kind of way. All right, so now we're going to see what that is. Hopefully, it's just a standard every text box. If it's not, then we'll have to figure out what to do with it, um, which may or may not cause problems. All right, I'm going to test the inputs. And if I'm right, when I type something into the description, I should get the type of control that it is. And hopefully, it's just an every text box. All right. And here we go. Um, okay, so it's not an epi text box, at least not completely. It looks like it's an object. I've never seen this object before. It's called ERP shared lib configurator input value bound. It looks like it's almost a container, which contains a um, an epi text box and a string. So I have no idea what this object looks like. Um, so we're gonna have to explore that. Um, so let's take a look at that in uh, Reflector. So it looks like hopefully it's in a in a DLL called ERP Shared Lib Configurator. Sometimes the package name is not the name of the DLL, and that may cause some issues. So um, let me do some poking around. All right. So this is uh, the Net Reflector, which allows me to look inside DLLs. It's a very good tool, and I'm hoping there's one called. Shared configure. There it is. Shared configurator. All right. Awesome. So this is shared configurator input control value bound. So let's expand this until we find that item here. Input control value bound. Boom. All right. So looking at this, it appears input control value bound. It appears that it inherits from input control bound, which is this guy. Sorry, I forgot that the screen is not. There we go. Um, input control bound, which basically contains a public control. All right, so we should be able to simply get the control from within the object um, and then cast it back into an epi text box. So let's give that a shot. So if I'm right, this should have a control property. And if I do a get type on that, that should be an epi text box. So let's take a look and see. Now, if, if it is an epi text box, we should then be able to set the appearance to it, of it using the standard infragistic appearance object um, and change the way it looks. All right, let's see. Yep, we get an epic text box. Awesome. So now it is a generic control um, according to my um, 
linear reflector. It looks like it's just a, a generic control. So we're going to have to cast it to an empty text box, but then we should be able to send the appearance directly on it. All right. So basically, we're going to cast this as an epi text box. All right. And then we're going to set the appearance. Now, I think I have to declare the appearance object first. So let me do that. Let's see what happens. Oh, interesting. Okay, so every text box is now referenced as a using statement. So I'm going to have to get the uh, entire um, assembly name on there. Um, I don't remember what that is. I think it's in the lib framework. Um, let's see. I know it's an epic client lib. Oops. I just want to make sure that I get the right package. So I think it's I think it's in lib framework. Epi combo. Yeah, there's epi combo, so epi textbooks probably in here. So I is the lib or live, I guess. The framework dot is that the Capitalize? No. Okay. I just leave the framework that every textbook take the appearance check syntax. All right. Looks like we're good there. We set the appearance, and now hopefully, when we change some text in that input, we will see it change into a red background. All right. So if we are lucky, nothing happened. Why didn't it work? Why well, didn't it work? Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is a standard epi text box, which means that it has that stupid Boolean called um, something app styling. Uh, use app styling. If you have, by default, use app styling is set to true, then it won't let you set the background colors or anything like that because it tries to use the theme uh, that Epico comes with. So I think I need to set that to false. And that should probably fix my problem, I hope. All right, so use, I'm pretty sure it's use app styling. And I'm going to set that to false because I want to use my local one. Yep, looks like I was correct in that. So let's see. Hopefully, when we run it now, we should get a red background. If we don't, then I'm going to have to probably admit defeat here. <laughs> at least for the time being. I don't know that I want to put much more time into this. Um, it was an interesting exercise, that's for sure. All right, here goes our last test. Uh, it's so slow. There we go. Boom, red background. All right, so hopefully this was useful. It definitely was for me. Um, I didn't know that very strange object uh, container thing. So let me know if, um, if you found it useful.